Hello, I'm Ian Lawson, and uh, I'm the lead pastor here at this church. You haven't seen much of me lately, as I've been away on a leave of absence for the last uh, three months. I'm Ruthie, used to be Lawson, now Watson, just recently. I'm the youngest of five, which is fantastic. It has its pros and cons <laughs> to both, um, but a very proud daughter of Ian and Connie. We have uh, been walking through a really deep waters these past uh, number of months. Uh, it was about a year ago now that my wife, Connie, was diagnosed with cancer. Uh, so we watched her decline over these last uh, 10 months, and then she passed away just uh, two months ago now at the beginning of February. And so I've been in the process of uh, kind of putting my life back together now, along with my kids, and have the opportunity to visit with them. But I do look forward to being back here in the next couple of weeks. The day we um, heard mom's diagnosis back in April, I remember that clear as day, it was like earth shattering. Um, I remember just grabbing hold of mom and we both said together, this isn't fair. And it wasn't, it isn't because of the diagnosis of the doctor saying how, um, how far the cancer spread. I remember crying in the shower and saying, just a year, at least a year, father. We weren't completely given up. So how did we actually work through this? I think uh, for me, it may be different than it was for my kids because for me, uh, I've walked with many people through circumstances like this. And uh, so uh, I didn't find myself ever angry at God or doubting um, um, God per se. I, um, Job puts it like this, uh, how can I just receive good from the Lord and not evil? Um, I think that we understand we live in a broken world, uh, that it's fallen and needs to be redeemed. And uh, so illness, sickness, and death is part of this fallen, broken world. I'm not sure my kids all were able to grapple with it in that same way. Yeah, no, I, many moments of anger, <clears throat> very confused. I mean, she doesn't get to be a grandma to my kids, right? So just so mad and confused. <laughs> I remember I've had many nights where I've actually, like I yelled to God and asked why. And I walk around the street and I see women who are in their 70s or 80s, you know, and it just doesn't make sense. Even grandma, she's 93 and she's ready to go, but the Lord still has her here and I don't understand that. There is a passage that comes to my mind uh, today thinking about this idea of hope. And it's actually one of my favorite verses from Lamentations. And, and there Jeremiah uh, writes and says uh, something to this effect in the middle of the short book. He says, um, this I will call to my remembrance, to my mind, and therefore I will have hope. And that is that because of the Lord's love for us, we are not consumed. His compassions, they are new every morning. They will never fail. And then it goes into that verse, chapter three, verse 23. Uh, your compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. I love those words in the midst of a period of real uh, despair and uncertainty for, uh, for that prophet Jeremiah. There's a sermon that um, mom, dad, and I listened to of Timothy Keller with Lazarus rising from the dead. Mm -hmm. And that has stuck with me. That was actually very providential in the timing of listening to it. I think it was a Sunday before mom started to decline significantly. And um, the three of us were just listening and about when Lazarus died, even though Jesus knew that he was gonna raise Lazarus from the dead, he wept and he entered into the suffering. He was in agony over the death of Lazarus. Mm -hmm. And within moments later, he raised him from the dead and he knew it was going to happen. And it reminded me that he is in there in the pain and in the suffering. And he, he's actually crying there along with me because this is a broken world. Um, that's something that I always, that's a picture I have in my mind when, when I do, um, when I get my anger out um, and then I just cry, I, I feel the, um, God's arm around me, crying with me, he's saying, I know, I know, it'll all be worth it in the end. I think today, Easter Sunday, uh, this year is more meaningful than it has ever been before. 
because uh, we have that hope in the future resurrection of the believer. Because Jesus was raised again, so we too anticipate our resurrection from the dead. And uh, that gives uh, us a significant hope as we, uh, as we try to process the realities of our disappointment and our grief.